I had a, we had a call yesterday with all the higher ed community. There's 27, you know, West Virginia public and private colleges and universities on the call with, all, with, with, the, with their presidents and everything. Great call. You know, at the end of the day, all of our schools want the kids back and the kids want to be back in school and want to be back on campus. The number one thing that is going on across the board is how do we protect our kids? How do we protect our staff and, and faculty? How do we protect our communities where those kids will be? How do we really move forward with this in a way that is the very best of the best and without disrupting this education process for these kids that is so important? And, and as well as the economics, of what's going on with our colleges. We don't want to start losing our colleges or our universities within the state. So how do we do that? And I will promise you this, I commend beyond belief the incredible plans that these people have put forward. And we've listened to all of them. We have listened to each and every one of them and their plans are spectacular to ensure without doubt the safety of our kids and to ensure the staff and all those community and everyone around, you know, is protected to the very, very best that we can possibly be. Now, what do we got to do? Here's what we got to do. We got to wait just as long as we possibly can. And I want those kids back in school. And I know that the kids want to be back in school. And I know that everybody wants them to be back in school, but I, at the top of this food chain will tell you specifically just this. There's no way, there's no way Jim Justice is going to go with putting these kids back in school unless I am completely convinced to the very best of my abilities. Now we all know we've got to manage some level of risk until we get a vaccine and, or, and we're able to stop this thing. We all know that. We are managing some level of risk here. But I absolutely promise you that there will be many, many more discussions and everything, but we will be making decisions very quickly because the decision time is upon us. And so we're going to continue to buy time and watch and hope and pray our numbers continue to be better and better and better, and then we can move forward. 